So, um, a few days ago, my girlfriend's birthday gift finally came in. Basically, back in June, I ordered these keychains of Sora, Kairi, and Riku from Kingdom Hearts from this German artist named Holly Polly. So obviously, I'm in US. This artist is in Germany. And so I ordered off for shop. And so it was gonna take a while. It's international shipping. Danielle's birthday was in August. Her birthday came in August. The gift still haven't re hasn't been received. And when I uh, placed my order back in June, I constantly checked the tracking number just to see what the updates were. The last update I got when I was checking the tracking number was that in July, the package arrived in New York. It is very weird because, you know, I'm in California, not in New York. And that was the very last thing that uh, I received. And so then August came and still no updates on the tracking number at all. So it was getting a little bit concerning, but obviously I tried to be as patient as possible. Maybe they're trying to do something in, in New York with the package to have it delivered in California or something. I don't really know how it works, but I was still kind of hopeful. Then October came around, still nothing. Danielle tried to ask me, hey, what's the update on my uh, birthday gift? Check the tracking number once once more. Still no new updates. So I went and contacted Holly and uh, asked her, hey, like, I ordered these like back in June and the last thing I saw of this was in July. Do you know what's up with this? And she's like, uh, you should probably contact the post office because it said it delivered. That's weird because the last thing it said is that it arrived in New York. I don't live in New York. What's up with that? I tried contacting the post office, but I had some issues with the post office, and so I was gonna try again like later. I forgot to, so I just never contacted the post office. I kind of stopped worrying about it, I guess, because I was gonna give her something else uh, to make up for it. Until, I think it was last Tuesday. Last Tuesday, I came home from work and I saw a package that had my name on it. It had German words on the package. That's when I realized this is from Holly Polly and that it finally arrived. It took five months to, to get here since I had placed this order in June and we're here in November. Danielle's birthday was in August. I went and saw Danielle yesterday as uh, we went to San Francisco that day and I gave her what was long overdue. She really liked it. Stopped using Twitter? Okay, I can understand that. Twitter's kind of gotten downhill recently. I'm gonna keep using Twitter until it absolutely comes down to the point where it's like too bad to where I can't stand everything that's going on anymore. I don't like Tumblr. I tried using Tumblr in 2013. I made a Tumblr in 2013 because um, one of the one of my friends I used to hang out with, his name is now Axe the Goat, but he was formerly na uh, named Chris Igor. He hung out with a friend named Cosmic Nova. Cosmic Nova is an artist, a, a furry artist. He uh, he posts art of My Little Pony on Tumblr. Axe the Goat made a Tumblr so he could like his uh, Cosmic Nova stuff. I made a Tumblr myself. I never told anyone that I made a Tumblr, other than those two. I personally don't like it, so I just stopped using Tumblr, like, very quickly. Tumblr didn't really last that long for me. The, the main thing I don't like about Tumblr is how much NSFW is on there. Although I heard that Tumblr is more restrictive about NSFW, but I am still not interested in coming back to Tumblr. I deleted my Tumblr page anyway. I don't feel like making another Tumblr account. I started running this game back in September of 2020, basically right when I got my capture card. But I've been watching speedruns of this game back in 2016, when uh, Juice and Tampa both reign supreme. I used to watch Juice a lot, as uh, Juice was one of my best friends in the Mario community. And my first time was a 29.3x on any percent. Um, what the hell just happened there? 
When I uh, first started NSMB2, my only goal was to really get top 15 in Warpless because like a couple years ago, I set an ultimate goal for myself and that was uh, to be top 15 in every Warpless category of the NSMB games. And uh, I was successful with every game except for NSMB2 because at the time I haven't even ran NSMB2. It didn't take me long to get top 15 in Warpless. I just improved really quickly. But then after I got top 15, I was still having a lot of fun with this game. I just kept playing. I was like, one more PB, one more PB, one more PB. And I just kept getting one more PB. I'm like, no, one more PB. And I don't know, it was just really addicting. Is that what they call it in uh, Sweden? Yeah, I don't like know what the time zones are called in other like countries. Cause like US has like four different time zones. There's MST, there's PST, there's CST and EST. Every other country, I don't really know the time zones very well. I just call it like German time zone, Japan time zone. Whenever I want to plan something with like people who, who don't live in the US, I'm just like, okay, we're gonna do this at 8 o'clock p.m. at Australian time zone, which would be like somewhere in the daytime for me. I'm also not very good at converting the times very well either. The one I know best though is uh, Bulgarian. I used to have a YouTube friend way back in 2012, back when Skype was the was what people use instead of Discord. You can actually see what time it is for other people. Right now it is 3.13 p.m. It would be 1 a.m. in Bulgaria. So right now, he would be asleep right around now. I stayed up at 3 a.m. way, 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 way back in elementary school. That was only a few times though. On average, I'll go to bed at like 12, sometimes at 11. If there's nothing for me to do at night, I'll just go to bed early at like 11 p.m. Rarely I'll go to bed at 1 a.m., but like I'll never go past like 1.30. AM. I sleep for like eight hours a night and I want to be able to like make my day efficient. Plus also I'm an adult so I, I need to be more responsible with how I with how I manage my sleep schedule.